Hello, this is Nathaniel, and I'm going to be teaching you to make games using the LibGDX framework for Java. LibGDX is a really cool framework because it allows you to publish your games using the very same code base to the Android platform, um, to a Java executable, which means it can run on a PC, a Mac, or a Linux computer with Java installed, and you can also publish to iOS and to the uh, web browser game all from the same code base and that's a really cool thing and that's one of the main reasons you should check out libgdx um, there are several more reasons it's just all around a great framework and fun to program in but you'll start to see that as you follow the tutorials and get to know the framework uh, before you get started you're going to have to have two things installed those are the libgdx framework and the android developer tools ide for which is where we're going to be writing our code so to download the libgdx first you're going to go to this link libgdx.badlogicgames.com uh, then you'll go to the download page and click download latest release and you'll download the archive which you can just put on your desktop and extract it to a folder like I have here the archive and the folder are both needed then to get set up with this this is a little bit more complicated I'll be including links to both of these sites in the description but you're going to download the SDK and run through the setup that they outline. The reason you get the Android Developer Tools instead of the basic Eclipse IDE is because Android Developer Tools allows you to test on your Android and do other things for, for Android, which I hope to explore in later tutorials. So you could also use Eclipse, but then you wouldn't have those options in the future, so you might as well just install this now. So once you have the Android developer tools installed as along with libgdx you can continue with the tutorial and yeah so let's get started you're gonna open up the libgdx folder and you're gonna find gdx-setup-ui this is a utility for setting up a libgdx game project so click create to create a new project it needs to know where the libgdx framework is located on your hard drive so click the folder icon go to desktop and point it to that archive which you have there then it turns green showing that the library is loaded and ready then we have to put in information about what we want our game to be give it a name let's call it first game and give a package for the source code this doesn't really matter, but generally you would put com dot and then whatever you want to be called dot first game all in lowercase. That's just the convention for the way you name packages. Then the game class we'll call it first game and picking the destination for where the project should be generated. I'm going to go to desktop tutorials and libgdx and I want the the projects to be put in there um, here you click which platforms you want projects generated for you always have to pick Android because an the Android project holds all of the assets for your project and the core project is where your source code goes that is used by all of them um, and then from there you'll always want a desktop project HTML and iOS aren't so much necessary but I'll just leave them checked to show you how everything works then we're gonna open the generation screen and hit launch and everything should go as planned and all done we can go over to the directory we chose and see that it's generated five projects for us the core project the Android project the desktop project the HTML project and the iOS project uh, the way libgdx works is you put your main source code in the core project and these ones all borrow from that source code and they each delegate to different backends uh, depending on the platform and that's how you get the same code running on multiple platforms but you don't need to know too much about that for now next we're gonna open up Eclipse with the Android developer tools so that we can actually get to edit the code of our projects alright now that you're into Eclipse what we're gonna do is import those projects that we've made so you will right click on over in the pack oh actually we'll go file 
import and under the general category we'll expand that go existing projects into workspace and we find the directory where we place those projects which is tutorials slash libgdx and that will be different for everybody just find it and pick the root directory and we're going to import all of them now you will get an error in your android project from the beginning all you have to do is go properties android and select the target SDK for Android and once you do that everything should be fine uh, some HTML and iOS errors but we won't even worry about those for now because we won't be working with them for a while so now at this point you can click on the desktop project and hit the big green run button then select Java application and direct it to the main class which is the starting point for the project and it opens up in a window displaying this pleasant flash splash screen about libgdx so that's the basic project doesn't do much besides that and in the next tutorial we'll go over uh, what we can actually do from there so thanks for watching